Welcome to this video by Perfect Scores. This is Preetan Dakar and we are doing critical reasoning. The question is which of the following if true would provide most support for the prediction that the agency's action will have the effect. So basically we have to support that the action will have the intended effect. Now let's have a look at what that action and what that effect is. It says the duration rough a fish species inadvertently introduced into North America's Great Lakes in recent years feeds on the eggs of the lake whitefish. So let's call it ER. That is the fish species introduced into the Great Lakes. And we also have an extra information. It feeds on the lake whitefish, a native species. To those great lakes thus threatening the lake's natural ecosystem to help track the spread of this er government agencies have produced what so that is the plan that is uh, the action that we are talking about the government is planning to do what they have produced wallet sized cards about this fish let's call it er and they contain pictures of the rough and explain the danger so picks and the danger and the cards will request anglers to report any rough they catch. So that means any rough if caught will be reported. Now remember there is a condition if caught will be reported by the anglers. So let's go to the options because we need to support that yes this effect is going to take place. The option says the rough has spiny fins that make it unattractive as prey. We are not talking about prey uh, because we are just catching it. We are not eating it right in the ocean, so in the lakes. So A is incorrect. B says rough generally feed at night, but most fishing is done during daytime hours. Well, that is not related because the fish can be um, there present in the water even if it's not feeding. So B is irrelevant. C says most people who fish recreationally on the Great Lakes are interested in the preservation of the lake whitefish because it is highly prized game fish. Well, that is more like an assumption. That is, people are going to be generally interested in saving this LW lake whitefish, which is native, because it's a highly prized game fish. D says the rough is one of several non native species whose existence threatens the survival. Well, this is just one of them. So obviously it's not supporting this plan. So D is eliminated. E says the bait that people use when fishing for whitefish is not attractive to rough. Well that does not have any effect on the plan. And that is why C is going to be your answer. So thank you so much for watching this video.